Hi friends, welcome to my channel Ohm Electronics. Continuing our episode about power supply. In previous episode, I discussed about 24 volt 1 ampere DC variable power supply using LM317. The LM317 is a fully adjustable 3 terminal positive voltage regulator capable of supplying 1.5 amperes with an output voltage ranging from 1.25 volt to 37 volt. The voltage across the feedback resistance R1 is a constant voltage that is 1.25 volt and this is called V reference or reference voltage. But one of the major disadvantages, it has a 1.25 volt voltage reference which is configured in a feedback loop such that it always attempt to keep the voltage between the output pin and adjust pin that is equal to 1.25 volt. Here main problem is that here main problem is that we cannot vary the vo voltage from 0 volt 0 to 37 volt. So today we have modified this circuit in such a way that the V reference voltage reduced from 1.25 to 0 volt. The output voltage is not regulated from 0 volt precisely due to the voltage that falls on the two sets of the internal re resulting transistors. The solution would be to lower the reference voltage by 1.25 volt that is to compensate for the voltage that appears on the two junctions and this solution is applied in this figure. Here we apply input voltage that is V in is minus 12 volt and this is the common circuit the transformer the rectifier circuit that is bridge circuit and filter circuit if we can set R2 resistance at a minimum resistance value that is near to zero then by adjusting R3 we can make V reference voltage as 0 where R3 is a variable resistance. In this case the voltage of the output voltage V out is equal to V reference into 1 plus R2 plus R3 by R1 plus I A D J into R2 plus R3 minus 12 volt. This term will be negligible because the lower value of this I A D G current few microampere. This is the main circuit that we have designed as per circuit diagram and this is the upper portion. We have getting output voltage from 1.25 to maximum input voltage that I discussed already. Now the lower portion that is the modified circuit we are getting from this section output voltage from 0 volt to maximum input voltage and this is the R3 5k variable port 
very good resistance and this is the r1 on 120 ohm and this is the lm c17 ic and here for getting minus 12 volt input voltage v in minus 12 volt we have used seven regulator ic 7912 and this is the output terminal the positive terminal and this is the negative terminal now check the power supply first no load condition and here this is the resistance variable resistance r2 r2 r1 and r3 variable resistance we connect this multimeter as a voltmeter just measure the output voltage now this is the no load condition switch on the circuit just vary the resistance r2 and this is the zero volt so minimum initial condition minimum resistance of r2 now output voltage is 0 volt at 10k pot r2 is no, sorry r2 is 5k and r3 also 5k now change change the position of the r2 resistance and this is the maximum so minimum 0 volt to maximum 30 volt so this is the no load condition now here we are connecting a variable resistance or pot 10k in series with a fixed resistance 220 220 and 220 that is 660 660 ohm resistance set as a load connecting a fixed resistance with this pot is necessary to avoid the short circuit as we are not using any short circuit protection in this circuit so just connect these two terminal with the output terminal so now switch on the circuit now output voltage 28.6 volt just below the 30 volt now change this pot to the maximum load resistance that is 10k plus 660 ohm now output voltage is 30.7 volt when just six sixty ohm resistance as a load resistance so set this 
pot at initial position that is zero zero resistance in this pot so only load resistance is 660 ohm then the output voltage just drop the near about 2 volts 2 or 1.5 volt so now we can see the output voltage is not changing too much for load condition or no load condition hence we can say the power supply is working accurately now just check practically practically a theoretically output voltage will be v reference into 1 plus r2 plus r3 by r1 plus i adj into r2 plus r3 minus 12 volt so it will be the near about zero so output voltage theoretically v reference that is 1.25 into 1 plus r2 R2. This is R2. Zero at initial condition. And R3. This is R3. Just we measure the value of the R3. This two terminal. And this is the R3. That is one point one one near about one point one zero one one or one point zero one k by R one one twenty minus twelve volt. So it will be near about to eleven point seven eight minus twelve. So near. near about zero so theoretically from this equation we are getting the output voltage near to zero thank you